Hello everyone and welcome back to CLGTR channel. So today this video gonna be just a small tutorial about a features of Medibank Pen Pro but it's really really helpful this is instructing line. If you are not have a, if you don't have the graphic tablet and you just work with the mouse uh, in Medibank Pen Pro and you are using the paper to draw and then scan it and put it to the computer that instructing lines here is the best method best feature for you guys okay so i will make an example to show you guys how it is really really cool like this one um i will open a paper here this is one of my work that i uh, already draw in the paper and then i scan it to my computer in here okay here this is page here you see in this page i already do the outline work and i want to pen something or add things screen tone or whatever this one simply and normally that i will use the one tool here and then i click to the uh, white area that should be a blank area and then adding color or texture but this is a really really big problem because when you want uh, to select this one it's not select the whole area although you turn off the close gap here it just choose a really really small part around here and that will be a pen for you if you want to uh, do it in the large area right and in case if you use the mouse and use the select tool around here that will be a lot of work and you have to spend a lot of time for this so normally that you maybe have uh, solved this problem by using the level if you have the photoshop it will just work at the same that going to the levels in here and you can see that with the setting in the input here you can change it to make it sure the white background here it is solid white uh, for the computer color like this and then click OK with this one you will have the one tone and select on the white area but there's another problem if you want to solve a character in transparent background that means you have to delete all the white background here but it maybe will you can see that um, let me close, expand to zero in here is maybe will be a lot of things if I delete simply that choose this one and delete this one you maybe see the light is not really perfect not smooth and some case is uh, have some small part that you have to select all of them to delete that but maybe it lead to the de uh, the things that you will leave some small detail so that's why I will go back to the the star here don't have to do with the level anymore you go to the filter and choose instructing lines here you see the difference of this after you choose this one it will automatically create a setting around here just the same as you do levels uh, like i just did and you can change around here until you satisfy with the result and the white background that means all the white things in here it disappear all of them it disappear and just have the checkered background that means here is transparent background then you click ok with the result here you can see that it will be better so that means when you scan a paper on here even that's it just a gpg and uh, you go with the feature like this one uh, the white uh, area is will automatically delete when you use the instructing line and with this one you can see there is no color like uh, a lot of color around here just black color that means that layers in here is changing into the 8-bit layer so in this layer here only have white and black color and the white is deleted just leave the uh, the black color here so with this one you can start to do your work that put just normally like you do in digital uh, uh, graphic uh, tablet that you will create a new layers here and use the fill tool to fill the color around here one tool to select some part uh, with this one and then uh, you can add screen tone to there like this okay like this really quick and cool right 
So, so that is all about this tutorial. Hope it will be helpful to you guys. Thank you, and see you next time.